It's show me something for <laughs> conference championship weekend. Peter, you're up first. All right. Hey, Mike, uh, show me something. D'Amico Ryan's San Francisco defensive coordinator. You know, two weeks ago when the New York Giants went into Minnesota and beat the Vikings, Leonard Williams, Kayvon Thibodeau, and Dexter Lawrence combined for 17 pressures, hits, or sacks on Kirk Cousins. Last week, playing against the great Philadelphia offensive line, the best offensive line in football, uh, they had a total of four pressures and never touched the quarterback, Jalen Hurts. So show me something, uh, you know, right now in this game. I want to see some pressure on the quarterback from the San Francisco defensive front. So show me something. All you Niners, including the defensive coordinator, get to Jalen Hurts and bug him against this great offensive line. Show me something, Chris Jones. When the Bengals and the Chiefs played back in week 13, Jones was not the wrecking crew that he usually is. Now, this time around, 60% of the offensive line is gone for the Cincinnati Bengals, and that line did a great job neutralizing the Bills' pass rush last week, but they don't have a Chris Jones. If you want to disrupt Joe Burrow, if you want to keep Joe Burrow from doing what he did last year, beating you in arrowhead slash burrowhead it's going to take a great performance from chris jones and in theory he should be able to do it against that depleted offensive line in theory goes away come sunday night it's time to go out and do it if the chiefs want to finally beat the Bengals, chris jones needs to have a big night so show us something sunday night chris jones show me something jackson carmen and look, he showed the world something last week. His first game ever at left, ta at left tackle. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals were the beneficiary, beneficiaries. Uh, Jackson Carmen played fantastic in this game. And now for his reward, what does he have? He has a great right side of the Kansas City defensive line, including Chris Jones, including Frank Clark, the state-of-the-art right side of any defensive line in football. Show me something, Jackson Carmen. Show me a rerun of what you did last week in Buffalo. You've already selected one of the defensive coordinators from the NFC Championship. I'll go with the other. Show me something, Jonathan Gannon. From time to time, gets a little criticism from the Eagles fans. Spoiler alert, they criticize everyone from time to time. He's a candidate for the Texans head coaching job for the second straight year. And he's tasked with figuring out how to deploy his 11 players to deal with Christian McCaffrey, to deal with Debo Samuel, to deal with George Kittle, and to rattle Brock Purdy. If anybody's going to shake up Purdy, it's going to be this Eagles defense where they've got the rotation of pass rushers. They can try to get past that offensive line, try to get to Purdy, disrupt the running game. It is going to be a challenge. Kyle Shanahan likes to put you on your heels. Attack, 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 and make it easier to pass the ball. They need to flip it around. They need to put the 49ers offense on their heels. They need to disrupt those easy runs. They need to be able to clog the lanes where Brock Purdy's going to try to throw the ball, and it's all on Jonathan Gannon. If he wants that head coaching job in Houston, this would be a great way to impress Cal McNair with what he's able to do on Sunday against the San Francisco offense. So show me something, Jonathan Gannon. All right, there are the first two rounds of the Show Me Something Drive for Conference Championship Weekend. Peter King, you're on the clock for round three. Show me something, Brock Purdy. You've already shown me a lot. Three turnovers in 32 quarters. Who does that in his first 32 quarters where the team is saying, you're the man? I don't know who does that. I don't know that anybody in history has ever done that. But he's done it. And now he gets to go into Philadelphia and he gets to play in front of a very, very difficult environment. And what's more, Mike, last week, 12 uh, a minimum of 12 snaps for eight guys on the Philadelphia defensive front. That's how many that Brock Purdy is going to see cycle in and out of there. Eight guys consistently 
And what happens when you have a breath, a time to breathe as a defensive lineman? You get a chance to have a sack in the fourth quarter, which 35-year-old Brandon Graham did against Daniel Jones last week. So they better be ready for a lot of fresh legs cycling through. Show me something, Brock Purdy. Show me that you can take that defensive front on Sunday. Show me something, Eli Apple. The Bengals cornerback showed us plenty on Twitter in the aftermath of Cincinnati's win over the Buffalo Bills. And I understand that to the victor goes the spoils. But Eli Apple was a little over the top in rubbing the Bills' face in it. And that's going to put a little bit of a target on him from those Kansas City receivers. Even though he wasn't talking to them, they're going to want to shut him up and they're going to want to target him and they're going to want to expose him. So he has written a check for himself in this game and he'd better live up to it or the Bengals are going to have a hard time slowing down the Chiefs. All right, Peter, before we go, who do you got winning this week? And I'll tell you right now, I've already picked the Bengals 30-27 in overtime and the Eagles 24-23. I hate to be boring, but Mike, I'm going to take your two teams, one on the road, one home, and just, just to let you know, I won't be surprised if I'm wrong on both counts. Me either. I think we're going to end up because we both believe in the Bengals and the Eagles, we're going to have a rematch of 49ers Chiefs from Super Bowl 54. <laughs> we'll see you Monday to break down the games. Enjoy both of them, and thanks for some of your time. Have a great day. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.